Welcome to My Thoughts with Dale Van Bogart, a biblical view of today's world issues. And now, here's Dale. Hi, greetings everyone. Welcome again to another segment of My Thoughts. And in this segment, it, uh, we call it, We Are In This World, But Not Of This World. And uh, before I start, just wanna, as a reminder, you can all go to uh, Facebook and go to our, our Facebook page, our ministry page, and you can like and uh, follow us there. You can also see this video and many other videos uh, of my thoughts on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe as well. So, let's start out. Got your Bibles. Doesn't matter if it's paper or, or digital. Open up to Psalm 91, verse 3. And... And uh, that reads, Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. And I'll, I'll explain some of those words here as we go along. Now, now the verse, this verse expresses his assurance that the trust of which he had spoken would not be in vain. But God will prove at all times, the deliverer of his people. He is evidently to be considered as addressing him himself and in this way encouraging his own heart to hope in, for hope in the Lord. Now, let us define some of the words, as I mentioned, that, that the person who wrote this psalm uh, used in the verse. Now, note, I'm going to give you the Hebrew meaning as the Old Testament was, oh, it was, of course, was originally written in that language. Now, the word snare or posh, P-A-C-H, it means to trap. The fowler or 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 Yaquish, uh, Y-A-Q-U-S-H, means trapper. And pestilence, or, or deber, D-E-B-E-R, means plague or thorns. So, uh, some people, uh, they think that the phrase snare the fowler in this verse uh, is, is spoken here is in connection with the pestilence and is to be understood hidden mischief disguised from open aggression. But the writer declares the divine protection is sufficient for him, as it is for us, whether Satan attacks him openly or by more secret and subtle, uh, and subtle uh, methods. Now remember, Satan's only power is if we give it to him with our consent and cooperation. Because he was defeated at the cross. Now, surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Now, not maybe or sometimes, but a definitely unqualified surely. See, not a conditional he might or a definite he shall. No, see, he said, surely he will deliver. He shall deliver you. What a blessed insurance we have that our God is going to deliver us from the snare of the fowler, or he will deliver us from Satan and all his tricks. Now, the Bible depicts the devil, of course, as the fowler. Now, the fowler, now a fowler is also a, uh, another name for a professional bird catcher, lays traps and carefully conceals them so he can ambush suspecting birds. Well, that's what Satan does to us. He does the same thing. He lays those traps, carefully conceals them, so he can am ambush us at, as well. It might, you know, he might make it look like, oh, that's, that's Jesus talking, but no, it's not. It is Satan. Now, John 10.10 10 depicts the uh, devil as a thief and a murderer who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And what we need to understand that the world we live in is a fallen world. Adam committed high treason and gave the keys of this world to Satan. And because of what Adam did, the devil, or Satan, is the ruler of the world. And we, he goes by other names besides ruler of the world. And we read, read a lot of them in, in the New Testament. Now, the Apostle Paul in Ephesians 2, verse 2, of course, 
And he has another name, calls him the Prince of the Power of the Air. That is why, as long as the devil is still a ruler of this world, the world will continue to get darker and darker, and there will continue to be accidents, sickness, calamities, tragedies, and deaths, because he's the one that brought it on. We can rejoice in the knowledge that Satan's lease on this world is quickly running out. Now, the Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 22 through 28, that Jesus has risen, and Adam, due to his disobedience to God, caused sin and physical death, not spiritual death, physical death, to be brought into the world. Because of Jesus' resurrection, he now is the first fruits and is coming back. All his enemies, and that means everyone that had not repented, will be put under Jesus' feet with physical death as the last enemy to be destroyed. So in the meantime, we will see this world getting darker and darker and more ungodlier than we've ever seen. But as believers, we do not need to live in fear. See, our trust is in the Lord Jesus Christ. In John 17, verse 16, he says, we are, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. See, there's a very real and active fowler that sets up those snares. That's Satan. He is real. Don't ever think he's fake. And don't you listen to what Hollywood puts out there. Because they're putting out wrong very much wrong information and, and wrong images of Satan. Even, even as, I, as I was writing this, I, I, I'm, I'm reading and hearing reports of, you know, bombs and shootings and airplanes crashing and viral outbreaks in different parts of the world. And that's of Satan, not of God. God does not cause that. Satan causes that. And he will soon be defeated completely. Now, of course, in the natural, this can be very disheartening. But don't forget that we have a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, who is more real and has promised to deliver us from the snare of the fowler, Satan, and from all perilous pestilence, because his dangerous diseases and viruses, because we have faith, and our foundations of faith is believe and receive. The bottom line is that we need to realize on how much we need our Savior every day, and his protection as well. We need to involve the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives every day. Only he can deliver us and keep us safe. Amen? And I'm Dale Vandebogart, and I approve this message. And if this is the first time you're watching this video, and you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, well, what are you waiting for? You can go to our website, vdbm.org, and click on Free Gift. Read the entire page. At the very bottom, we have a prayer. You say that prayer from your heart, and you'll accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. And if you do, and, and congratulations, you are now a part of God's kingdom. You are God's child. You're in the family, and your name today will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah. Fantastic. And uh, what, what a great way even now to start out the new year. Is to, is to make Jesus your, your personal Lord and Savior. Again, thank you for watching this video. We hope and pray that, that you received a huge blessing from this, from this video. On the next screen ha has some links of interest for everyone. Again, we, we, we again, thank you again for watching this video. God loves you. We love you. Be blessed.